Hello, hello, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday, it's about five o'clock. I just came home from the gym and showered. I did an afternoon workout. I had a really, really busy but productive Monday, which was good, obviously. And now I'm making dinner. I'm making salmon, salad, and I got a rice cooker, which is so exciting. Uh, so the rice is cooking. So figured I would say hello. Welcome to the vlog. Not sure if this will be a full week or a couple of days, but I'm excited to bring you guys along a very productive work week in my life. My goal this week is to try to have a salad kit with dinner. So today I'm gonna to be doing this Mediterranean style salad kit from Trader Joe's. The salmon smells so good. I'm trying out a new recipe. I'm gonna add some lemons and some pickled mustard seeds. And our rice is also ready. All right, here is dinner. This is Mihai's. I put a large portion of salad, lots of rice for him, salmon with a little bit of the mustard seeds and some cilantro, lemon on the side, and then same for me. You lose a thing. You replace it with something else. It's better than what you lost. Your half essence as having it was, ghost, Crafting an idea that you need something about yourself are not the ones that show you and that's types and standards or proof that we're suddenly they're not doing Good morning guys, it is 9.18, uh, I woke up a few hours ago, but I've just been cranking out some work to get ahead on the day, today. It's Tuesday, I'm on my second cup of coffee, there's like, I don't know, there's something going on in the air because I've talked about this with my friend and she also says that she's been waking up so tired and going to bed early and still like waking up tired because that's how i've been feeling lately like i go to bed so early and i get like a decent night of sleep and i wake up feeling groggy and like i need more sleep so anyways this morning i wrote up an article edited and submitted it so i feel really good about that i've been pretty off my writing game lately i just haven't really been feeling inspired lately so I'm trying to kind of reignite that passion of mine and um, right now I'm kind of outlining a video and I'm obviously vlogging today and I have a little bit of contracting work that I have to do. I did it this morning, I did like an hour's worth of work. I also have to write up some content for them today and then we're gonna go to the gym today. I want to make some pastries today, not sure how that will go but i'm using one of my mom's recipes so fingers crossed <laughs> and yeah so that's on the agenda today excited to take you guys along and i am about to hop on a meeting so i will talk to you guys in a bit i just made breakfast i have my usual omelet some avocado toast hi guys so it is currently one o'clock and I'm finishing up work right now. I have one piece of content that I am finishing up. And I wanted to, I don't know why, but I just like, I got into this, I got into a mood. And I was kind of thinking about this video that I watched yesterday. And it's for this new girl that whose channel I found. 
and she is a nurse and she's also like a youtuber on the side and she was talking about how she loves nursing and she like loves her job and stuff but she feels like she's pulled to do more than just nursing and she was talking about like her side hustle as a youtuber and like her goals and what and whatnot i didn't finish the video but i will today but anyways it got me thinking about my career and um my goals and i feel like on this channel i don't really talk much about any of that kind of stuff i kind of keep things very like surface level almost like i talk about what i'm doing but i never talk about like i don't know like I don't know it's just i just never really like dive too deep into anything and the reason for that is obviously i've been going through a lot of transitions over the last few years i went from working at yahoo as something completely different from what i'm doing right now and then i went to working for myself to having to get a part-time job and i just feel like i've been very all over the place and i don't know i have felt like definitely very like disappointed in myself over the last couple of i'd say months for not getting my writing career off the ground and it's definitely been very like strenuous and stressful like i don't really like to talk about things that make me sad or like upset and that's just kind of like something that's been going on behind the scenes i feel like I just don't talk about that stuff like I do not talk about my personal goals and I as I was watching that girls YouTube video that I mentioned earlier I realized that that probably is not the best thing because if I want my channel to grow and if I really want to connect with it with you guys then it's probably best for you guys to know <laughs> where I'm going and what I'm doing and like why I'm doing what I'm doing and like the reason for why i even created this channel in the first place was because i wanted to be creative and that was my goal and then i also had like a food blog that i was doing and working on and i wanted to create food foodie videos and as the years have progressed my channel has definitely evolved to more like lifestyle content and health content and like various other things and i feel like i'm kind of just like on this journey of of finding myself i guess you could say and like discovering who i am and discovering like the value that i want to bring and i don't know i think this is kind of like my way of saying that my way of i guess being trying to be transparent um because i know that i don't always talk about like personal things um i am a very private person but i understand that in order to connect with others you do have to open up a little bit so this is this is my effort at opening up and talking about my career goals my plans for the future which i'm still trying to figure out i also wanted to say that like if you are somebody who is kind of in the same boat as i am where you know you you thought that your life was going to be going one way and it kind of did like a completely drastic left turn and you feel frustrated and you feel overwhelmed and you're just kind of like sitting there and wondering when your life is going to get back on track which is i feel like where i'm kind of at like i keep wondering like when is when is that great writing opportunity gonna come my way or like when am i finally gonna get that idea that i've been like looking for for a novel or like when am i finally gonna <laughs> not like you know trash what i'm working on and finally like finish it like i don't even know if that makes sense then i don't know i just i just hope you, you know that you're not alone i feel like everybody's kind of trying to figure out who they are right now and what value they want to bring and that's kind of where i'm at right now i'm trying to identify like what my purpose is with writing because i know that my goal is to be a full-time writer and write for myself and not work for anybody but i'm having like a lot of a lot of difficulty identifying exactly like what my voice is and and who i want to bring the most value to because you know like i went from being a food blogger to 
writing about fitness to writing about health to writing about self-improvement writing about relationships and like i love all of those things but i feel like i still have not discovered my my niche my thing what i'm most passionate about and it's okay to be multi-passionate but i feel like there's a everybody has that one little thing that that they that they are really really good at and they can bring that to society and bring it to like the fullest if that makes sense and i'm still kind of trying to identify what what that is for me i'm just kind of in a mood today because i've been like working on this content for for the company that i'm working for and there's a difference between writing what you want to write and writing just to get paid and i feel like i've been writing just to get paid basically and it's been i don't know it's just like you get burnt out that way very easily and it almost feels like your passion just kind of like the the passion out of what you love just gets sucked out when you do that and that's why it's so important to if you do pursue a creative career like writing or filmmaking or youtube even to always make sure that you're doing it because you genuinely love it and you genuinely like it's feeding your soul and not just your bank account because when it's just feeding your bank account you just lose sight of the value that you're bringing if that makes sense i don't know i hope that i hope all of that <laughs> made sense i feel like i'm all over the place i'm definitely i'm definitely in my feelings today so so today is going to be a pull day for me uh, my glutes are actually pretty sore from yesterday, which is kind of nice. I'm probably going to take some BCAAs to help with that. finally got a funnel. I don't know why I haven't had this because it definitely helps. Gonna chug this and I will see you guys at the gym. And out of breath so we did a pull day cardio abs normally I would try to work on my handstands after but it's 441 so I got to get home and I got a shower and get started on dinner before me gets home <sighs> I'm also out of water so I'm dying but anyways I honestly thought that I would not like be able to pull through with this workout because my weight training was so long today it took me like i want to say 70 something minutes to finish and then i still had to do abs and then cardio and i almost didn't do cardio but i find that when you don't give yourself the option to skip out on something it's a lot easier to just push through so that's my little tip for working out promise yourself that you're gonna do it and then just do it. I just made dinner. I have Wagyu for Mihai, rice and salad, and then I have bison for me, salad and rice. It 
Oscar. So I have spent the better half of this morning reading this book. I'm literally halfway through it and I hope to finish it tonight because it's so good. Don't mind myself, Tanner, please. And then, I don't know what came over me, but I decided to make pastries because I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. So I sauteed apples with cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, and a little bit of sugar. And now I'm making these little pastries. So I'm going to fill these up and put them into the oven. today but I didn't really talk to you guys today I had a really busy work day I wrote content four pieces of content like my typical thing that I have to do and I did a little bit of editing and stuff like that and I had a lot of meetings actually that's why I didn't vlog because you guys don't want to watch me sit there for meetings so yeah but anyways I finished my work day around 2 30 went to the gym and practice my handstands i actually found this really really helpful like video where he takes you through like uh, stretching for your wrists so i was doing that it was interesting um but yeah now i'm making dinner also by the way the pastries that i made today they were a hit with mihai he loves them you can't really tell but he ate like four of them i think <laughs> I like them. They're pretty good. They're just not sweet enough for me. And also, I prefer like berries or like some kind of cheese, like a cream cheese in my pastries, not apples. Um, but anyways, yeah, my day's been pretty productive. So, I'm making dinner. I'm just making leftovers from yesterday. I made extra meat last night, so that way I wouldn't have to cook too much today. I'm making rice in the rice cooker with bone broth. I'm making a salad. I'm going to add avocado to it. And I'm going to pour us a glass of wine because we both had, like, it's been a busy day, busy few days. So we both just kind of want to relax. So I'm going to pour us a glass of wine. And I'm planning on finishing my book today, tonight. So that's kind of the goal for this evening. Dinner is literally the same as yesterday. Alright guys, happy Thursday. I think Thursdays have slowly become one of my favorite days of the week. But, anyways, I wrote out a little plan of attack for the day. I have quite a few things I want to accomplish today. I think I want to clean the house today instead of tomorrow. So I want to do some laundry, 
clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen, bedroom, living room, mom. I want to clean out the fridge. I want to bake a cake tomorrow, so I need to make sure that I have all of the ingredients for that. Um, I want to edit a, a vlog that's going to go live tomorrow and potentially a Monday vlog as well. Um, I need to do some contracting work. I need to write some content up for them tomorrow, for today, for tomorrow. And um, I also want to write for myself and I want to finish my book that I did not finish yesterday, but it's super good. So we have a pretty busy and packed schedule today. I'm just going to chill for like 30 minutes and read a little bit and drink my coffee, wait for that to kick in, and then I'm going to get started. Just made my usual favorite omelet ever with leeks, cheddar cheese, and cilantro. And I have some avocado on the side. I'm about to hop on a meeting, but I'm making, <clears throat> I made an iced coffee. Uh, double shot. A little bit of the iced coffee from Starbucks, some oat milk, and a little bit of vanilla creamer, which I frothed because I think that it tastes just like the Starbucks vanilla foam. That's good. She's stunning. I just got ready for the gym. I just finished work. I feel good. Uh, I didn't edit my article, but I will later in my video. I'm drinking a Celsius. Celsius. It's not like hot, hot outside, but I'm just in the mood for some shorts. So yeah, I'm gonna do cardio today. Uh, literally just gonna walk on the treadmill, get my steps in, and I'm gonna practice my handstands. See you at the gym. the gym it was just my stretching day so I just kind of did stretching a little bit a little bit of mobility work and I practiced my handstands um, I came home and I started cleaning so I'm trying to do my all of my cleaning stuff today instead of tomorrow because I have a busy day tomorrow and I just want to work on my personal work tomorrow um, so yeah I'm making dinner uh, Mihai went to Whole Foods to go get us a chicken, so that's what we're gonna have for dinner. I'm also having mashed potatoes on the side and a salad kit. I actually went to Target to buy a salad kit and they are so poorly stocked. I don't know what's going on. Like, they've been like this for the last two weeks. I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of stressing me out. So yeah so he went to whole foods he's getting us a chicken kimchi a salad kit and also he said that he went to whole foods and there's only like he got the very last chicken which also stresses me out because it's like what is going on <laughs> so yeah i got some um more of those mint chocolates but like a different flavor from target i also got a new energy drink actually I got some coconut oil because I'm going to be doing some baking tomorrow that I'm so excited about. And I actually wanted to get stuff to make a cocktail tomorrow at home, but 
Target literally had nothing, so I'm gonna have to go to the store tomorrow. But anyways, this is the new energy drink that I got, Alani New, and it's the Addison Ray collaboration that they did. So I'm excited to try this tomorrow. I'm working out early in the morning tomorrow, so I'm really happy about that and looking forward to it. So yeah, I'll probably be ending this vlog here so that I could start a new one tomorrow, but I will show you guys my dinner. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this productive week in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed the meal content and I hope that you guys get some good ideas from the meals that I was showing you. That's kind of like my goal whenever I make these videos. I always show my food because I want you guys to get meal ideas because I always get meal ideas whenever I see other people showing their food. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and don't click off yet so that you can see dinner. But I'll see you guys in the next one.